Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today I want to do a render test. I have this new Lenovo X3850 X6 that I'm testing out. It's a 4 CPU server with a total of 60 real cores and 60 hyper-threading cores. So a, a total of 120 cores. I did an old test, one of my older videos, I'm gonna write it down here, the old video where I did a render test with 72 cores, real cores, because I have nine machines up here, these rather old IBM X3650s with each two processors, each quad cores, and they have a total of um, 72 cores. And I did a test on those and I rendered 101 test frames and I'm gonna do that again but on the Lenovo and see uh, and compare those two back then I did it in uh, 55 minutes and 15 seconds let's see if we can beat that or if that's actually this is a very expensive server my calculations it's about $93,000 and these servers are way less than that so let's see what we got down here this is the Lenovo server. It's a 4U server with uh, four compute books. Each of these books contain uh, one CPU with 15 cores and hyperthreading. There is 128 gigabytes of RAM in each of them. And there is some flash dim storage on them as well. So this is the server that is battling. And it's battling these servers. These are the old IBM 3650 Model 1. They're, they're eight, nine years old right now. So um, it's gonna be a tough battle. Well, I have tested this multiple times and I've found that I get the best results if I take a big server like this and I do smaller render servers on it. So what I'm working on here is VMware ESXi 6.0. I have VMware, which is a hypervisor installed on this big Lenovo server. And on top of that, I have installed 18 uh, four processors. Um, they have virtual CPUs. You can see that there, they have four vCPUs each, which gives a total of 72 cores, just like the other test. The server itself are here. It has four CPUs. 15 cores on each CPU and that is with hyperthreading a total of 120 threads. The program that I'm gonna be testing with, let's just have a look at that. It's right here, might as well start it. It's 3D Studio Max and while that starts, that is set up to do network rendering. So what I do is I start a job which is a Hummer and that Hummer takes quite a bit to calculate and that job is being sent over to a render manager and I have here on an old 2003 machine I have a render manager running here in the background here's the render manager and it has taken in all these servers from the new Lenovo server and there is also a monitor right here that is very nice and shows the results down here I can see the the different servers they are all idle I started at number 40 and it ends at number 57 so including number 40 that's a total of 18 machines um, let's go back over here and get the job we're gonna go uh, open open go out i have a benchmark and my hammer test right here it will be loading in just a little second. And yeah, cool. Here comes Hammer. There it is. That's the test we're gonna do. Let's go up here into render and render setup. Render setup, and that's set to a range from number zero to number 100. And 100, but it's including frame number zero so that is a total of 101 frames and all the settings are good so we're just gonna go down here and submit to network rendering 
So we're gonna do that, and it's gonna come with a new menu, and we'll just call this Hummer 32, just to call it something. And I'm gonna be connecting to the manager, which is this 3D man, and that's uh, this server. That's called 3D man. So we're gonna do that, connect. And it's gonna find all the nice servers that are online. They are just gonna check that they're all there. Looks good. And I'm gonna submit the job. And now this computer is going back to the to the test. And if I wanted to, I could start work on another project. But all the rendering servers will be busy in just a second. Let's go see a couple of those. I'm just gonna shut him down. And we can see here we have added a job Hummer number 72. There's a lot of information. The top frames we can see that the first including zero the first 17 frames has been given out to these servers they are each uh, with a number here so we can go and see if they're doing good here are the servers and this is where i can i can take a server let's say just take number 40 get a console on that and we can see that it's working on the hummer uh, the way this works is that uh, a big square like this, so kind of this. This is one square, and one core is working on that kind of a square. Now we can see that this square is missing over here, so that will be done in a little bit, and then that core of that CPU will move on to calculating and the next square. There it went, and then it moves on to the next, and. That is being done on all 18 servers. So instead of one machine just working on one frame, or actually each of the servers are working on one frame. Where are we at? Let's get this one back. One frame has been sent to each of these and they're working on one frame each and then they're sending the frame back to the manager or actually they're just storing them on a shared location and when that is completed you can make a movie out of these uh, 100 frames uh, there would be no point because it's not moving at all it's just a still picture being rendered over and over again but um, it's moving it's working on this and let's go let's go back to the number 40 there it's doing good over here at the host itself now all these servers are working uh, full power. Let's just see the processing is being used totally. I can't even see if there's anything left. I don't think so. When you go into performance, uh, we can see the CPU there. Let's go in and just pick some of that. We don't need to see everything. There is over a hundred cores there. Let's uh, none and just select that one. And okay, then we just get one, and we can see that it wasn't doing anything. And then I started this render job, and that is really peaking. It's working 100% right now. Uh, before that it wasn't doing anything so back there it was well actually 10% was a lot for doing nothing but the machines has been on for a bit so that might be it you can actually see over here that is where I was preparing for this video I was cloning machines and booting machines and stuff like that so, but right now they're absolutely busy busy I had a question in the comments on another video about this server how much power does it use when it runs and right now it's really running and all the processors are being maxed out and it's using 906 watts so at full processing power about 900 watts uh, just dropped a little there but well that's answer to that question it just finished the first frame and if we go over here we can see that it it took about 8 minutes and 25 seconds to finish that frame and that's actually pretty good 
I was watching the video that I did on the other servers and I think the average there was about 9 minutes 9 seconds so if it can keep up this it will win uh, so that's gonna be really interesting we can let's go over to the manager here and we can see all the frames came in about it's that column here oh yeah now I what did I do I guess it didn't like that turn on the monitor again connect yes okay there it is job detail job summary there we are don't press that column it will die hmm but all the frames came in about eight minutes between eight and a half and eight minutes and fifty seconds is that's the slowest one I can see yeah the fastest one is this 22 right there as far as I can see so if it can keep up that it's gonna win this that will be very interesting to see all the servers are now working at their third frame and a lot of these frames up here was a lot faster we were down to about 7 minutes and 57 seconds for one frame and that's not bad over here we can see that this server render server took 8 minutes and 27 seconds with its last frame and it's also working on its third frame server is still totally peaked out it hasn't even budged just a second it's the servers don't stop and start the frames at the same time so it's not as if they all finish a frame at the same time that it can breathe and it drops a little bit it's just busy we are also over committing the processes a little bit uh, this server only has 60 real cores the other 60 cores are hyperthreading cores and hyperthreading does not mean that it has twice the calculation power it just means that it's ready to do twice as much but it can't really do twice as much it's like it's like having one rider with two horses it doesn't mean that he's gonna be able to ride twice as fast it just means that when he gets to a specific point he can jump onto the next horse and that will keep going it can be faster than not having hyperthreading but this is not one of the cases where you really win a lot you win a little bit when a server has done a frame and is receiving data on the next frame in that brief time the processor is being used by another server on rendering instead of um, not doing so much here we can see that the servers are coming in with the fourth frame I think it is and they are getting a sign a new frame down here when they report in they get a new one and the time of the frame that it's delivering is coming up here so this is how that works they deliver a frame and they are assigned a new one one by one they are dropping in here and assigned new frames this is the last frame for some of the servers and some of the servers has to do one more frame until this project is done we can just see how far we are oh we can see that right there we can see that over here so we are 65 percent done it estimates that there's 15 minutes left it's gonna be close it's gonna be no wait we have to yeah as it looks right now it's gonna win by five six minutes or something like that well that's gonna be very interesting so now the first server or this server that i was keeping an eye on has been it has completed there was no more jobs for that one so shut that down and we can see that the server went down in processes to some level and then now it's uh, i think it's down to not doing anything at all so we can probably go see how the job was doing all servers are idle again so the job is complete yes we did save some time more or less this the 55 minutes and 8 seconds 55 minutes was about the same time as the other servers took but we started this six minutes over so we can redraw that so that's it completed in about 49 minutes 49 minutes and seven seconds to be exact so that's a savings of oh 
Whoa, can I calculate that? Yeah, it's a saving of about six minutes and eight seconds for those 101 frames. That's not that bad. Every second counts in this calculation. The Lenovo X3850 X6 won this one by six minutes and eight seconds, which is pretty good comparing to that it beat nine servers. These nine servers of the IBM 3650 Model 1. And most of these are three gigahertz servers. I have, one of them is 2.5 gigahertz, but the rest is three gigahertz servers and optimized to do this render job so had i had 10 i think these would have won but i only have nine so they were beaten by the lenovo server price comparing prices not so much this is a 93 thousand dollar server these are about 200 bucks each would i go replace these to get a brand new lenovo server to save six minutes and eight seconds no I would go buy myself a Tesla car and drive that to get that kind of power. <laughs> it definitely got the speed and the power consumption and the power consumption is also pretty good compared to these. I think these are about 400 watts each when they're really working hard. That's almost, that's, they use a total of 3600 watts on rendering and they're slower than the one down here that uses about 900 watts. So definitely power power consumption these are beaten but price the Lenovo one loses price wise it's a really tough calculation if you have servers running 24 7 do you go with the power hungry servers or do you go with the more expensive but more power conservative server you would have to make a graph and see where where do they hit is there a money saving 15 years out in the future it's not gonna live 15 years probably you would go buy a new one Thank you for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.